The function of providing social security, Weishaupt alleged, was not served by any religion and could be served only by his new religion, Illuminism. I bet you wondered where that term came from, social security. Wasn't that a con game? How many of you have caught on to the social security scheme? You see, when my grandmother was young, she was presented with social security as the answer to poverty and old age. It was to free the elderly. It was to protect them from their own inability to put aside at least 10% of their income during their life so that they could have something to live on in their old age. Socialists understand full well human own human excretions because the hired help doesn't get paid enough to come in and clean up their beds and turn them over and uh, give them baths and make sure that they're clean and okay and happy and healthy. And who goes to see them, ladies and gentlemen? Once they're housed in these so-called old folks' homes, aren't they by and large forgotten? left there to die, and don't most of them spend their time sitting around in front of television sets or in chairs, doing nothing but waiting to die? There used to be a time in this country when the old folks lived at home, and thus imparted the culmination of all of their years of experience and learning to the young people. And it allowed the children to see folks grow old and experience the death of their grandfather or grandmother or great-grandfather or great-grandmother. And it was a chance for the children to repay their parents and grandparents by taking care of them in their old age as they took care of us in our infancy. But no more. That wealth of knowledge and wisdom and information is frittered away in old folks' homes where people are shelled, warehoused until they die. Can't wait to get rid of them. It is a travesty. It is a great sadness. It is a, it is a terrible sin in my estimation. How could we allow such things to happen? But we have... And yet we go on as if it's not going to happen to us. How can we be so stupid? It is assured to happen to us if that is what we are doing to our parents and our grandparents. That is what our children are going to do to us, or maybe worse, if Dr. Kevorkian gets his way, there will come a day when two weeks after you're housed in the old folks' warehouse, you will mysteriously die. And the children and grandchildren will receive a letter saying that, Oh, we are so sorry to tell you, but two weeks after admitting your father or grandfather into the old folks' home, he suffered a stroke and passed away. You see, because if we continue upon this track, there will come a day when those who are a drain or burden upon the socialist big brother, big daddy society will be eliminated. I suggest you go watch Spoiling Green one more time, ladies and gentlemen. When that movie was made, it was far-fetched. Nobody could conceive of such things happening, but today it's a different story. Not only can it be conceived, not only can you see it coming in the future, but people are talking about doing exactly what you saw in that movie in meetings and societies around the world as one of the solutions to the population and hunger problem. Did you know that? Well, it's true.